Hi, welcome to this video today, which is all about simple Forex trading strategies that work and some timeless techniques that you can use, which will help you become a successful Forex trader from home. Now, in relation to today's video, I'm focusing on learning from three of the greatest traders of all time. They were all together at a hedge fund called Quantum. Three traders we're looking at today, George Soros, Jim Rogers, Stanley Druckermiller, rightly considered three of the greatest traders of all time. Now, in terms of simplicity, a lot of traders um, or beginners coming in the markets might think that they used a complicated strategy. Their strategy was not complicated at all. As George Soros once said, yeah, if you make a strategy too complicated, it's going to be too prone to error and lose. The strategy was very simplistic, okay? And a lot of beginners coming in the markets think that, yeah, if it's complicated or they draw fancy patterns, lots of lines on their chart, think about their trading set up for a good amount of time, that is going to increase their chances of success. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's not to do with complication. Yeah, the quantum fund, okay, they didn't use lots of fancy computers or you know, algorithms or anything like that at all. Um, their strategy was based around trading big levels in the markets. And what they would do is they'd be very contrary. OK, so and it's timeless, this, in terms of if you look at a price chart and you see an elevated uptrend or downtrend, you know, prices spike aggressively that price spike always fades. Why does it always fade? Because it's just greed or fear that the spike the prices too far. So basically, what the quantum fund would work on was hitting yeah, when markets went to a bullish extreme or a bearish extreme. They knew they could use a very tight stop loss, okay? And have great profit potential on the other side. Now, one thing, that many people will find surprising. This is about George Soros. Stanley Druckermiller said when they were working at the Quantum Fund, the thing he learned from George Soros was not what he thought he was going to learn. What he learned was that Soros, and he said this, had a you know, hit rate in the market in terms of his winners of only slightly better than random. Okay, that's George Soros. He didn't win that many trades but the ones that he made money on um were huge winners and think about you know trading price spikes you come in with a very tight stop loss and then have really fantastic profit potential on the other side yeah the difference um between your winners and your losers is important in fact it's vital you mustn't focus on maximizing your number of winning trades because you'll never make money, okay? Because you'll cut your profits too soon. So you focus on winners over losers. Now, in terms of yeah, how you analyze markets, um, beginners make the fatal mistake of thinking that Forex markets can be predicted. And if you look at the bulk of beginners who come in the markets, they go for pattern trading, okay? So let's give some examples. Gartley patterns, Fibonacci, Elliott wave. Yeah, every little twist and turn the market is analysed. It's all supposed to predict what's going to happen next. When you see those patterns, you see those patterns in hindsight. They've got no relevance to what is going to happen you know, in the current moment. And that's, again, another point that George Soros makes. Um, you can't predict human behaviour. And he said that goes totally against what we believe. Now, it should be fairly obvious you can't predict the future, but not to Forex traders or a lot of them that come in the markets. Um, and a lot of what is taught about Forex trading, as Jim Rogers said, it's just misconception. Um, it's got no grounding in reality. Yeah, traders see what they want to see about the markets and they see easy money, they see things can be predicted. You know, they can rely on their strategy, the psychology, a secondary. None of that's true. Now, your psychology is very, very important. 
In fact, your psychology is what is going to make you a successful Forex trader. Because anyone can learn a simple method, but very few traders can actually execute a method with confidence, discipline and courage. And I'm going to talk about courage, OK? Um, Stanley Druckmiller said this, you, you've got to have the courage to really go for your big winners, OK? Now, the Quantum Fund, when they traded, they didn't trade many yeah, currency pairs or commodities or anything like that at all. They used very concentrated bets. They didn't want to spread their money around. And, yeah, it's like Jim Rogers says, yeah, diversification is a waste of time. It's for people who don't know what they're doing. Why do eight trades, OK? Yeah, a lot of people do this, eight, ten trades. You know, my losers will be basically covered by my winners because, you know, it's um, a diversified um, portfolio. Well, if you do that, what's going to happen? Uh, your winners are going to be diluted by your losers or your losers will be diluted by your winners. Whichever way you look at it, um, you're going to get nowhere. Um, you need to do concentrated bets. Warren Buffett has said this as well. All great traders use um, a small number of bets. They're concentrated and they also vary the bet size. Okay, Quantum fund, when they're losing, bet size gets cut back. When they're winning, they'd really go for it. It's like Stanley Druckerman I said, when we got up 100%, yeah, we didn't settle back. We went for home runs to really push our performance forward. Now, sometimes that didn't work for them. They might end up with 50% or whatever for a year. But, you know, they had the courage to do that. And over the years that the Quantum Fund was operating, it worked for them. It had one of the best track records of any hedge fund. Now, in terms of um, trading, I've you know, said they didn't make many bets when they were trading, but they didn't trade all the time. They never traded for the sake of trading. It's like Jim Rogers said, you know, why, why do that? That's what beginners do. They want something to do when there is nothing to do. You wait for high odds opportunities. If there's no high odds opportunities there, then you just don't trade, you wait. The best trade is no trade most of the time. And yeah, you know, traders are just too keen to do things. You don't need to do many trades per month to have a really great annual return. Yeah, you, know, you can just make a few trades and make 100% per annum. I think in terms of the quantum fund, go and study it. Um, I'm just going to do some quotes in it, 20 quotes from the guys, which reinforce what I've said and make some additional points about achieving Forex trading success. But if you're a beginner coming in the markets, yeah, strategy should be very, very simple. And it's not just the quantum fund who kept their strategy simple. Most great traders do. And if you want to learn more about great traders, go and read the books Market Wizards and New Market Wizards by Jack Schwager. Um, he interviews all the great traders of, of all time, sorry, including the three traders I've just mentioned. And you get a real insight in what it takes to achieve Forex trading success. It's a simple strategy. You have to have a very contrary mindset, okay? And basically, you have to do uncomfortable things that other traders are not prepared to do. And you'll also learn it, it is the psychology that execute that strategy with discipline, um, you know, and, and courage, for want of a better word, that will make you a lot of money in the Forex markets. Right, that's enough of me talking. Here are the 20 quotes from the guys. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you very much for watching me as usual. Take care and have a good day.
Just. Yeah.